We're going to explain how to mix artesanate IV injection. Remember, I'm not a medical professional, and this information is for educational purposes only. Always follow the instructions provided by your healthcare provider and the medication's packaging. Never attempt to mix or administer this medication without proper training and authorization. Incorrect preparation can be dangerous. 1. Gather your supplies. You'll need the artesanate vial, the appropriate diluent, usually sterile water for injection or sodium chloride solution. Check the medication label. A sterile syringe of the correct size, an alcohol swab, and a clean, flat surface. 2. Prepare the injection site. Clean the area where you'll be injecting the artesanate with an alcohol swab. Let it dry completely. 3. Prepare the artesanate vial. Carefully inspect the artesanate vial for any damage, discoloration, or particulate matter. If anything seems amiss, do not use it. Clean the top of the vial with an alcohol swab. 4. Draw up the diluent. Using a sterile syringe, draw up the required amount of diluent as specified on the artesanate vial label. This amount will vary depending on the concentration of the artesanate. Double check the volume to ensure accuracy. 5. Add the diluent to the artesanate vial. Insert the needle into the rubber stopper of the artesanate vial. Slowly inject the diluent into the vial. 6. Gently mix the solution. Once the diluent is added, gently swirl the vial to dissolve the artesanate powder completely. Do not shake vigorously, as this can cause foaming or damage the medication. Make sure all the powder is dissolved before proceeding. Inspect the solution for any unusual cloudiness or particles. If present, discard the vial. 7. Withdraw the solution. Attach a new sterile needle to the syringe. Invert the vial and draw the appropriate dose of the mixed artesanate solution into the syringe. Again, double check the volume to ensure accuracy. 8. Administer the injection. This step should only be performed by a trained medical professional. They will administer the injection using aseptic technique and monitor the patient for any adverse reactions. Remember, administering IV medication requires specific skills and knowledge. 9. Proper disposal. After administration, dispose of used needles and syringes in a designated sharps container. Dispose of the empty vial according to your local regulations. 10. Important note. Artesanate has specific dosage requirements depending on the patient's weight, age, and medical condition. Always refer to the prescribing information for accurate dosage instructions. This process should only be undertaken by qualified healthcare professionals with proper training and understanding of aseptic technique and medication administration. Improper mixing or administration can lead to serious complications. If you are unsure about any aspect of this process, consult a qualified healthcare professional. This information is for educational purposes only and should not be considered a substitute for professional medical advice.